What's up, I'm Mia Bell. Now let's talk about the Crown Act and hair discrimination. Whether in locks, a curly fringe, or silk press to the gods, black women's and men's natural hair is a political statement. So much so that for centuries, our beautiful coils, curls, and waves have been heavily policed by white America. In recent years, students have been suspended, black women have been fired, and black men have been racially profiled because of hairstyles and textures that are representative of our culture. All the while, black hair and the commodifying of it has ballooned into a billion dollar industry of which white people eagerly partake in, own, and operate. This type of hair discrimination is deeply rooted in racism, and to combat these threats against our crown, the Crown Act was created in 2019. In partnership with then-State Senator Holly J. Mitchell of California, Dove and the Crown Coalition launched the campaign to extend statutory protections for hair texture and protective styles in the workplace and public schools. To date, the Crown Act has been passed in 18 states. While activists fight for the freedom of our hair on Capitol Hill, everyday people like hair vloggers and TikTok continue to hustle for the respect of our hair care products and styles. So you may ask, where do you fit in in all of this? What can you do to keep our crown safe? First, speak up. When discrimination is happening, don't be silent. Share information and know your rights. Support, sign petitions that help end hair discrimination. Be proud. Wear your hair with pride and confidence any and every day.